Okay, so in this video, we are going to be talking about a browser called Arc. And in my opinion, this is the best browser for browsing. I haven't actually used this yet for development work, but for just general purpose browsing, this is the best one. Now, I wouldn't have heard of this browser if it wasn't for Scott Talinsky, who is the person behind Level Up Tuts and Syntax FM. So this is a kind of thank you to him for introducing me to this browser. But let me show you some of the cool features that I like. Firstly, there's this favorites kind of section over here, which I use a lot for the sites I visit a lot. There's also a pinned tab here, which I use for sites I need to do something with for a short amount of time and then remove them later. But this is really cool because navigating between sites is super fast. Going from Discord to Gmail to Notion back to YouTube is super fast as you could see. And this is the same for any single tab inside Arc. Let me get rid of these actually. I can get rid of all of them with this clear button, but these are the things that I actually use. One of the coolest things about this browser is that you can browse it without the address bar. Let me show you. So I can hide this navigation bar on the left by pressing Command S. If I want to switch between a tab I had before, I can press Control Tab, and just like a desktop operating system, I can jump between tabs like I'm jumping between applications. So I can go to my YouTube Studio dashboard page and go back to the page I was on by pressing Control Tab. I can also create a new tab by pressing Command T. But if you look, it doesn't show me in your address bar. It shows me this kind of cool command palette and I can just search for something like the browser company, hit that, and now I'm in a new tab. And I can go to my old tab with Control Tab, like so. And that's it. But I can go to Spotify web and it feels like I'm in the app because there's no address bar. There's no way to know that this is a browser. And that's really cool. I can of course temporarily pop that side panel open just to see a few tabs, but then I can close it again in the same way. Another thing to mention is the vertical tabs. Now before using Arc, I would only use horizontal tabs on the top because that's what I'm used to. But since using Arc, I have stuck to vertical tabs even in my Edge browser. Vertical tabs, I think, are the way to go and they help you to have less tabs on the site. Now, there are a few cool things that I might use, but less often than the things I just showed you. And for those of you who are looking at my Spotify thinking, why is he listening to Pink Fong? I have children that like listening to the Baby Shark song and it is pretty catchy. Okay, let's talk about spaces. So I haven't used spaces that much, but you can switch between them like this and you can create a new space by pressing the plus button. And what I think I use it for is a way to divide tabs based on their categories. So if I have a tab just for gaming, I can have that here with gaming pinned tabs or one for coding or web development. I can have another space for that. I haven't used it yet because I haven't found a need, but it's nice to know that there is an option for that. There's also a way to see what you have recently downloaded over here. I can look at screen captures, downloads, things on the desktop, and some easels that I've drawn. I haven't actually used easels yet. I've messed about with it temporarily. I don't see the benefit, but they exist for people who like that. Now, of course, there are loads of other features with this browser, but if I'm being honest, I don't really use them. The thing I like the most is the fact that you can change tabs with this control tab here, and you can also browse without an address bar. Having split tabs is also really cool, just like that. And having no side panel comes into play because you want to see the, the full view of both websites. Aside from that, I only use about a handful of features from this browser, and that's more than enough, in my opinion, to make this the best browser for browsing. This runs Chromium under the hood, so you can inspect Element and look at all the things you can, just like a Chrome browser. Now, as of recording this video, this browser is not my default browser because it's missing two main features that are coming, but are not here yet. The first one is different profiles. So I like to have a profile for work and a profile for not work. Currently, Arc does not support different profiles for doing that, but I've heard it's coming. Another thing I like to do is I like to treat websites as apps. By that, I mean getting a website and having the shortcut of that website on your desktop and clicking on that shortcut will open a kind of electron web view of that site. So it's like an app. I do that with Gmail and Google Calendar, as you can see here, because Gmail and Calendar don't have fully fledged apps. 
I treat the website as an app, which is actually a browser behind the hood, but it works for me to separate that from my general browsing. And currently you can't do that with Arc. Once those features are ready and released, then I will make Arc my default browser. But for now, it will sit second place to Microsoft Edge. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful and I will see you in the next one.